Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to take our Anki game to the next level with an awesome add-on called Hyper TTS. Without further ado, let's get to the good stuff by first installing and setting up Hyper TTS. As you can see, I'm already on their website and I'll place a link to it in the description below for you. Scroll down the page until you see the add-on code. It's right here. Copy it or write it down so that we can insert it into Anki later. Off screen, I open Anki. Let's install the add on by clicking on Tools up at the top and then Add ons. Next, in the upper right, click on Get Add ons and paste that code that we got off of the website earlier. Then click on OK. I'm not going to click on OK because as you can see, I already have Hyper TTS installed, but I wanted you to know how to do it yourself. Once the add-on is installed, we need to configure it. We'll do this by clicking on Tools up at the top and then select Hyper TTS Services Configuration. This window will appear. If you look at the top of it, you can see that I've already configured Hyper TTS, but it's quite simple actually. This is what the top of this window will look like when you're a new user. All you have to do is click on the free trial button and enter your email address. It's as simple as that. Once you do so, you'll have access to premium voices using up to 5,000 characters. There is nothing more to set up. The premium voices are automatically enabled. Once you're finished, you need to exit and restart Anki. This is important, otherwise Hyper TTS won't work properly. Before we do that though, there are three things I think you should know. First, take a look at this chart and pause the video if necessary. If you're using Chinese, Japanese, or Korean characters, the character count will be higher when using certain services. This will eat into your 5,000 character allotment much quicker. Second, once your free trial runs out, you can enable free voices. They're not as spectacular as the premium voices, but they do work really well. Just revisit the configuration page. Remember, we got here by clicking on Tools, and then we clicked on Hyper TTS Services Configuration. Once here again, you can click on Enable All Free Services and then click on Save. This will allow you to test all the free voices to see which ones you like best. I won't be hitting Save myself right now because I don't want to enable free voices. But once you try out the free voices and you find that you have favorites, you can come back to the configuration page once again and turn off the services you don't like. Simply scroll down and uncheck the box to the service you want to disable. Then click on Save. Finally, if your trial ends and you want to continue with premium voices, you can subscribe and it's quite cheap. At the time I filmed this video, it runs $5 a month for 250,000 characters. If you need more, you can sign up for a larger package. I'll put a link to the subscription page in the description box below. And if you're wondering, no, I'm not affiliated in any way. I just think Hyper TTS is awesome. If you forgot to, make sure that you restart Anki before you proceed. Now, let's add some audio to our cards. Click on Browse up at the top. And if the deck you want to add audio to isn't already showing in the pane, you can find it in the left menu here. Next, we need to select all the cards we want to add audio to. Of course, you can select individual cards, but I want to add audio to all of them. So if you're using a Mac like me, use Command A. If you're on a Windows computer, you can use Control A. Next, at the top, we want to click on Hyper TTS. Here, you have two choices for adding audio, collection 
and real time. I choose collection all the time because the audio files are saved along with my flashcards. It's also superior when reviewing cards on a mobile device because it maintains the voice that you choose. The only downside to collection audio is that closed cards aren't supported. Real-time audio is generated as you review the cards. I don't care for this as I often want to share my decks and I need the audio files to do that. And it doesn't work on Android devices. It is supported by iOS devices, but it plugs in a different voice than the one you chose. I'm not happy about that. Closed cards are supported, and that's the only upside I see to real-time audio. Let's go ahead and click on Add Audio Collection, and this window will open up. The first tab we see highlighted in blue is Source. Under Source Mode, Simple is the most common choice and should be used unless you're a super advanced user. The source field just below that is where HyperTTS can find the text you want it to read to create the audio for your cards. Here I have Chinese selected and that's what I want, so I'll leave it alone. If you need to change yours, just click on it and select the appropriate field. Next, let's click on the Target tab. Now you need to tell HyperTTS where you want the sound inserted into your card. In the first video in this two-part series, I created a sound field for this purpose, so I'll go ahead and change this to sound. What if you don't have a sound field? Well, you need to decide when you want the audio to play. For example, if I choose the Chinese field, the audio will play whenever Chinese appears on my flashcard. So you should choose the field that contains the information you want to hear sound with. If you're placing the sound into a field that has text, such as my Chinese field does, you need to select Text and Sound Tag here, so that the text is not erased from your cards. Just beneath that is existing sound tag handling. I always choose remove other sound tags here as I don't want my audio conflicting with other audio that someone else may have placed in the cards. That may be the case if you're using a shared deck. Next, let's click on the voice selection tab. First, we need to choose our language. Click on the drop-down menu and find your language. Let's take a look at locale now. Here, you can find multiple accents for your target language. As you probably know, Americans sound much different than British people, and the locale section takes that into account. So you may have a bit of a choice here for the language you'll be using. I'm using Chinese, so let's scroll down to the Chinese section, and there are plenty of choices here, but I'm going to select Mandarin Simplified. Next, under Service, choose the service that you want the voice to come from. If you're new to HyperTTS, this will take some trial and error for you to find that perfect voice. I'll show you how to sample the voices in just a minute. First, I'll pick a service, and I like the Azure one. Then select a gender, and I'm going to pick female. Now, let's sample some voices. Under Voice, click on the drop-down menu and select a voice. I chose Xiao Chen. Now, click on a note in the right plane, and click on Preview Sound. Mm. You can click on as many notes as you want to, huh. and preview the sound. If you don't like it, just click on the drop-down menu, choose a different voice, and start sampling the sound again. Hey. Oh. I think I like Xiao Chen, so I'll select her. Once you're satisfied with the voice, click on Apply to Notes in the bottom. It's usually quite quick unless you have tons of cards. Then click on Close, and we'll close out this window as well. And that's it. Now we have audio on our cards. Let's test them out by clicking on Study Now. Mm. 
Isn't that awesome? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like if you haven't already, as it truly helps my channel. And if you get a chance, share it on social media as well. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.